Hello and welcome to Restaurant Recipe Recreations, a channel dedicated to teaching you how to create your favorite signature recipes from the most popular restaurants. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to recreate the beer cheese dip from Applebee's Neighborhood Bar and Grill. Now I've done several episodes from Applebee's before and I believe that that speaks to the popularity and certainly the familiarity of the American culture with the Applebee's Bar and Grill restaurant chain. And with over 1800 stores and in 16 countries, it's not hard to see how the Applebee's Neighborhood Bar and Grill concept has had such a huge impact on the American population and really the culture of dining out in general. In fact, this video today for the beer cheese dip is a subscriber request. And so let's go ahead and get started with the beer cheese dip from Applebee's. Before we do, I would like to ask that if I'm bringing you value by teaching you how to recreate your favorite signature dishes and recipes from the most popular restaurants in a fun, easy, and informative way in your own home and in your own kitchen, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me if you haven't already. And for those of you who have Thank you, thank you to my first 1,300 subscribers. I love you more than you could possibly imagine. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me, and I hope that you are enjoying these videos as much as I enjoy producing them. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. The focus of this video is just going to be on the actual beer cheese dip. You can see here that I have this incredible Bavarian pretzel. I actually purchased this pretzel from my local farm market. Your local grocery store may or may not have a bakery that makes Bavarian pretzels. If they do, I recommend that you pick one up. But in all honesty, this dip is so great that if you can't find a Bavarian pretzel, it goes just as well with any kind of crusty bread, like a sourdough bread, a baguette, or even just a hard pretzel, like rolled gold or Snyder's or whoever happens to make your favorite pretzel because it's just that delicious. And you can see that I have Blue Moon Ale here, and that is because Applebee's does use Blue Moon. In fact, they even list it on their menu as the Blue Moon Beer Cheese Dip. Now, depending on your market, you may or may not be able to find Blue Moon, although Blue Moon is pretty common. I don't think you should have a problem finding it. But if so, you'll need to get yourself a Belgian White Ale. I'm going to freshly grate one and a half cups of Vermont Sharp White Cheddar. This happens to be Boar's Head. Boar's Head is a brand that I specifically like, but whatever brand you use, just make sure that it is a sharp white cheddar and you will need one and a half cups. So in a large saucepan and on a medium heat, you want to add one bottle of Blue Moon Belgian Ale. Bring the beer to a slow simmer. You want some of the alcohol flavor to cook off, but not all of it in its entirety, because part of the charm of a beer cheese dip or soup is the flavor of the beer, of course. I have let this Blue Moon simmer for about three minutes, and to know if it's ready, just take a little taste of it. What you're looking for is the flavor of the beer without a heavy taste of alcohol. And once the beer is ready, you're going to add one and a half cups of heavy cream. Next, add a half of a teaspoon of Worcestershire, a sprinkle of garlic powder, a sprinkle of white pepper, a pinch of sugar, and a pinch of kosher salt, and whisk it thoroughly. This step is very important and needs to be done before we add the cheeses, and I'll explain why. In a container, add some cornstarch. From another bottle of Blue Moon, go ahead and add the Blue Moon to the cornstarch. And being careful that it doesn't foam up all over you, give the cornstarch a nice mix so that it's well incorporated and dissolved in the beer. And this is called a slurry, and you're going to use it to thicken this dip. But you want to do it before you add the cheeses. Cheddar cheese has a tendency to break in a lot of sauces and soups and the cornstarch in this slurry will prevent the cheddar cheese from breaking. With your pan on a medium high heat and constantly whisking and stirring, you're going to add the Blue Moon and cornstarch slurry a little bit at a time. The cornstarch reacts quickly with the heat and so you're going to see your sauce thicken up 
very quickly, which is why you only want to add a little bit at a time. Give that a minute to thicken up. And then drizzle in a little bit more, about two tablespoons more. And all the while you need to keep it constantly whisking. Once your sauce is thickened, we're gonna go ahead and add the cheeses. You've got your one and a half cups of white sharp cheddar. Now we're going to add one and a half cups of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. And be sure to quickly whisk it. The third and final cheese that you're going to add to this beer cheese is two tablespoons of blue cheese. Now we're going to add three tablespoons of unsalted butter. And then over a medium high heat, you want to just continue to gently whisk the cheese until all of the cheese, particularly the blue cheese, has completely melted. And now to just bring out the best of all of the flavors and give it just one extra layer of dimension, I'm going to add a few dashes of crystal hot sauce. And when the dip sticks to the back of the spoon without falling off, you know that it's the perfect consistency. This is ready to serve. Once you're finished with your cheese dip, you want to serve it right away while it's hot. You'll also want to stick your pretzel in the oven just so that that gets nice and warm and that the outside gets toasty. Another great idea to serve this would be to get a sourdough loaf and you just hollow it out and then you pour the dip in it and make a sourdough bread bowl and that would be delicious. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode on Applebee's beer cheese dip. And I want you to all know that I so appreciate all of the great comments that you're all leaving on my episodes. And I really feel like I'm starting to get to know some of my subscribers and my viewers. And to my subscriber with the handle easy for you to say, I'm looking at you. And until I see you all again, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers, I love y'all.